Hey YouTube, so for this job you'll just need some basic hand tools. I have a large ratchet here, 15mm for the brake, 36mm for the wheel bearing nut, and then a flathead screwdriver and a hammer to get that center cap piece off. And then I'll use the rubber mallet to bang it back on. So I'm going to show you the steps here. So to get the car in the air, uh, I'm going to be using some jack stands, a jack, and the ramps. Uh, first going to put it on the ramps. Uh, that way I can get the jack under the center beam and lift the whole front end up. And then just going to use the jack stands for safety. Okay, so I got the ramps lined up here. Um, I use the bricks as a support so that the ramps don't slide. Um, so I'm going to just drive my car up onto these. Okay, all lined up. Uh, just got to be careful not to give it too much gas and go off of these. So. Once you got it on the ramps, just make sure you got your e-brake or parking brake pulled up. So before jacking it up, you're gonna want to break these bolts. That way you can get the wheel off. So just use a breaker bar, just get all these loose. Now that I got the wheel nuts loose, I'm uh, gonna wanna slide my jack right under here um, and get to that center beam. That way I can lift the whole front end up. Okay, got that lined up real good, so just gonna fully jack it up now. Okay, so now that it's jacked up, gonna wanna remove the ramps, and then I'm gonna throw the jack stands under the support beams, uh, just to make sure this is not gonna fall. So I'll just remove these. Okay, so ramps are out, so gonna just throw these jack stands underneath the support beams. Okay, so got these underneath. I'm just going to leave them under, and I'm going to leave it jacked up, uh, just for extra support. So got this ramp, so now to take the wheels off. Okay, so got the wheel off, and so now uh, we're going to need to take the brake off, and that center cap, and the rotor. So here's the new wheel bearing that I'm going to be putting in. I uh, got it from 1Auto.com, I think it was like $90 for the pair. Okay, so to get this center cap off, uh, using a flathead screwdriver, I'm just putting it in a little groove here and then hammering it uh, on the top. So hammer and then I spin it and get the next little spot just to get it loose. Okay, so once you got that taken off, 36 millimeter for this guy, um, but first we're going to take this brake off, so 15 millimeter. So there's two bolts in total, uh, both 15 millimeter. So got my socket and my ratchet ready. Um, so first going to take off this top one. So just working this guy off and then we're going to be able to take off the whole brake once we get both of these taken out. Okay, so once you got the brake off, uh, we're going to need to get the rotor off. So just a rubber mallet hitting that. So banged it really hard with the rubber mallet, took that off. So now we are to the wheel bearing. Um, as you can see, it's pretty rusted, and there's the new one, so going to be a good exchange. So using my 36 millimeter socket, just taking off this center nut. Okay, so I got the old one taken off, and it's next to the new one. As you can see, it's in a lot better condition. This original uh, wheel bearing is definitely time to be replaced. Uh, there's a lot of wobble, uh, whooping sound coming from my driver's side wheels so this should hopefully fix that issue okay so the new wheel bearing just kind of slides right into that spot uh, pretty straightforward and so we'll just need to put the uh, nut back on so got the nut back in and then I put the rotor back on so uh, now we just got to put this brake back on the rotor um, so pretty straightforward Okay, so I got the brake back on, uh, just tightened those 15 millimeter bolts down real good. And now just need to put the center cap back on. For the center cap, uh, I did bang it a little too hard. So just want to make sure no moisture gets into this guy. So I'm just going to be putting some gasket maker just around the little spots where I hit it. And so there you go. Got this just a little bit on each, each spot. And then I'm gonna be banging this back in with a rubber mallet. So I just gotta bang that real good. 
final step is just to put the wheel back on, put the bolts back in, uh, and then slide the ramps underneath it, and we're good to go. So got everything put back together. Um, definitely fixed the issue. Uh, test drove it around the block and no more noise whatsoever from my driver's side. So really hope the video helped guys. Um, definitely gonna keep uploading more. So thanks for watching.